Look on the screen. Little TT. The seed of poverty D. So he's standing here. He's got his little gun. Quite sure like he's uh, learned probably from some dusty adult male. Again, behavior is learned. Dusty Sr. More than likely equals Dusty Jr. So he's on the street, got his gun out. There's a conflict. And in true Dusty fashion, they don't know how to handle conflict. But they do know violence. They got that part down. In true Dusty fashion. And what does he do? Let's look at the clip. Who is raising this crap? And that's what I said, crap. Oh, he's a child. And these are the same uh, children that look like this that grow up and kill black women. Yeah. He's a child. Sure as hell don't act like one. Acting like a doubt. Acting like a wow violent wildebeest in the community this is what the poverty this is what poverty seed produces dusty dustina and their offspring they've been drama trauma the financial implication is too much dust in a nation so again this is a seed of poverty dean uh very ignorant just like their parents don't know how to handle conflict resolution. They think everything is that gun until they got your butt sitting up in that uh, jailhouse bent over. See if you got your gun then when they got a line waiting on you. It's the buffet. Guess who it is, boo? See if you have your gun then. See if that you have your gun when you, uh, you get jumped in that prison and then all he done came out. Better check that health record. Let's run some blood tests. See if you have your gun then to stop that from happening. This is what the Dusties and Dustinas, this right here, it's just low vibrating energy. This is the seed of poverty D. It is the seed of a low performing man and Miss Incubator, the baby mama. Check it out, fair use. Welcome to another day in the BC. Poverty D. Police have released new video this morning of the young boy accused in a shooting in a Bronx playground. Investigators say the child seen here holding a gun got into an argument with a 13 year old boy and shot him in the knee. It happened last Thursday just before 6 p.m. inside the Hunts Point playground. Police say the alleged shooter who goes by the nickname Chulo is between 11 and 13 years old years old and is less than five feet tall. Investigators say the boy ran off with four other people who are wanted for questioning. Wow. Police have released 11 video this to 13. morning of the young boy accused in a shooting in a Bronx playground. Investigators say the child seen here holding a gun got into an argument with a 13 year old boy and shot him in the knee. It happened last Thursday just before 6 p.m. inside the Hunts Point playground. Police say the alleged shooter, who goes by the nickname Chulo, is between 11 and 13 years old and is less than five feet tall. Investigators say the boy ran off with four other people who were wanted for questioning. And shot the other child in the knee. Who in the heck doesn't have conflict? A difference of opinion. It's like some of our, the people in the BC, they are sick as hell. And it's the same thing like on YouTube. This person have a difference of opinion. Oh, hell, that's how the world works. But in the BC, if we don't all have the same opinion, oh, I'm mad at you. Damn, really? I mean, it's, it is very disturbing. And you wonder why this community is down the way it is. Nobody sometimes can shut the hell up and listen to someone else. A different point of view. It has to lead to fights. It has to lead to violence. Oh, I'm bad mouthing you. If we spend this much time and negativity to turn it around, maybe try and build in, we wouldn't have communities that are so raggedy and derelict and full of dust and full of poverty. Maybe poverty deal and permeate the community. And this on the scene, the seed of poverty deed. And then you wonder why black people with money don't want to deal with you. Y you think? If this way the child asks, how the hell you think the parents? 
to my oh what are, what would black people successful don't come to the to, to the neighborhood they like surviving hate to tell you that they kind of like surviving kind of want to avoid that bullet in the back you know what i mean they kind of want to go home to their family they don't want to put their lives on the line because you got all these crazy violent people in the community the dusties these low performing men and their low budget women so they don't want to deal with poverty d because whatever there's poverty d there was violence you see can handle conflict resolution <clears throat> quick question what do you see for the future of this this little young fool on the screen when he gets out there into the real world that dominant society what, what you gonna do then i keep telling you that's why these low performing men the, aka the dusties stay in the hood they can't handle that real world out there it's too complex and if you are a black man that can't handle it heaven forbid you just do something normal i don't know like support your grown ass <laughs> you go you might become a target because you can handle that world out there are oh, you working and got your own you i mean seriously you working and got your because the, the dust is the low performing c the low performing men they've been coddled so you wonder why it's like wow why did that happen you can't be that man i'm gonna go and talk to him try to show him the way no you can't do that we saw that at the gas station when that 47 look i mean and that dust seems to age was uh holding those people hostage and that young uh african-american man walked in there maybe thinking he could try to you know talk to him reason with him he rescued all those people they got out safely but he didn't the dusty still shot him so when you do something positive in this community, better watch your back. It ain't the clan. No, it's somebody dipped in brown or evil chocolate drop in black instead, like this mess on the screen. And it's on the news. You think his mother doesn't know about it? It's things like this here. If it were up to me, they would find him. And uh, we're going to go ahead. If he is on some kind of, if they're on any kind of benefits, yeah, <clears throat> this right here, what you've done, we're gonna go ahead and knock your behind off. Cause we're not paying for we're not gonna pay you to raise a criminal. So you got 30 days. You will lose housing, health insurance, food 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 stamp card, the EBT card, worth like a debit card, you, you'll lose all of it. Raise your darn heathen. If they're not on any kind of program, I would say to the parent, uh, <clears throat> you may want to kind of lawyer up and see, which I doubt there are any assets looking at this on the screen. I doubt that. But even if there are, uh, you, yeah, you may, maybe do an assets check and go get those medical bills, put your child in counseling, and I will see if I can bring any legal action against the parent. What if that child shot in the knee has some type of athletic ability? It could be over now. An uh, argument would, I mean, seriously. What if that child has athletic ability? Shot. Child may walk with a limp. Have to go to therapy. Uh-oh. Dusty's being drama. Dusty's being trauma. The financial implications is too much stuff to the nation. Uh, so if the child has to go to the doctor, go to therapy. I wonder who's going to be taking off work getting those, getting that child to the therapeutic appointments, the doctor's appointments. Who's going to be paying that copay? Will it be that mother? Because more, more than likely, if she's married, if she's uh, even with a low-performing man, uh, she'll probably be taking off work. Now more money going out, worried about your child, and you're earning less because you're taking off work. All because of the seed of poverty D. All because of the seed of poverty D. And you wonder why nobody's coming to invest in the black community. This on the screen, it's not so much. You got some black men doing things too. This on the screen. That's why they're having these, oh my God, these conversations about even birthing you. Oh my God. I am an aunt. Oh my God. I'm like, <laughs> I'm an aunt. They don't have felonies. They don't misbehave in that way because the way they're raised. And that's no guarantee within this family, yeah. You don't have to worry. You're not going to embarrass us. We'll come down on you. We're not. We're not having it. My dad didn't have it. We're not having it. 
That's why this right here on the screen is why they're having conversations, and I don't mean the clan. That's why they're having conversations right now about whether they should birth you or not, and that is like, wow. The violence that you do, maybe that's contributing to it. Never thought I'd see the day, but here we are. So, yeah. So, this right here, the seed of poverty D can handle conflict. So, another child is shot in the knee. Welcome to the black community. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share them out. People, stay safe, stay dust free. Ladies, we have to avoid these low, it's like a bad stock. Avoid these low performing men. They're not worth it. The mother of this and the father, they should be held accountable. If they're on any kind of assistance, I would rip it from underneath their feet. You can go live your behind up under a tree. I'm out.